what I'm doing now is just going around with some transfer paper and covering up the skulls. Take a really sharp X-Acto knife and just trim around it. Be really careful not to cut too deep. We're going to keep it fairly simple. What I got is I have silver in my uh, touch-up gun, soda uh, mini jet, and I'm going to take plastic. Instead of spraying on the border itself, I'm going to spray on the plastic and then dab it on. Wear gloves and a respirator when you guys do this. Just dab it on. You turn it around, turn it different directions, you wad the um, plastic back up again and spray it one more time. The reason I don't want to spray on the boards is because I don't want you guys to spray it too wet and uh, mess up your whole painting. So this is just another way of doing the wrinkle effect. We've let this dry and as you can see that's kind of gave it a really cool, um, almost a pewter effect. Now what I'm going to do is go back in with my black. I'm going to darken up like in the eye sockets here. And I'll just kind of shadow around everything. I'm just trying to keep this at a beginner level for everybody so you can see. We'll do more advanced videos on this later. But I'm just showing how you can just take one of these 3D designs that I have, use the Air 6 stencils, do the design in the center, and I'm going to show you how to um, attach a business card holder to this here in just a little bit. So you can take this to different shops and show off your artwork. Now we'll just take our black, go back in and clean our edges up just a little bit. Then I'm going to spray a little bit of black around to kind of separate the bones. I've got my red candy, but I'm still going to leave the skulls really bright like this, but I'm going to blend some of the red candy around the edges. I might even concentrate a little bit on the bottom, keep it We'll, we'll blend the red around and kind of go up and leave this top part like that. up to the edge. Alright guys, I've showed you at a beginner level how to use the stencils from air6stencil.com and how to use my 3D paintables. Now I've got a lot more designs that are available at coastairbrush.com. Now remember, I told you in the first of the video, you cannot buy them from my website. You can only buy them from Coast Airbrush. So, this is just a basic 
beginner project that we did right here. I'm going to do some more advanced ones as we go, um, go along. I'll be doing some more videos. Um, there's a lot of different designs that they make uh, as far as Air 6 stencils and there's a lot of designs that I make in the 3D products but we're going to kind of play both of them together and show you a lot of new designs. I'm going to show you guys how to get out there. Everybody keeps asking me how to showcase your work and how to get it out there. This is a perfect example. I'm going to take a business card here after I clear coat this. I'm going to put it in the booth and clear it tonight. I'm going to come back in in the morning and I'm going to take a business card holder and I'm going to show you how to adapt it to the bottom of this and then we're going to take it out to um, like a Harley dealership or somebody, you know, I might even take it to a paint, um, paint manufacturer and see if they can hang it inside their, uh, their shop. And what that does is it shows people your work and your business cards right there. They can walk up, take a look at it. Well, there's your work right there. I mean, you can't, you can't get any better than that and be able to see it in person. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. All right, we got it all clear coated. This is next morning now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a business card holder. This is a plastic one. I'm going to cut the back of it off just a little bit. Actually, you can just use sandpaper to sand it. So when it sets on here, it'll sit on there nice and even. Then what I'm going to do is take some two-sided tape. And what we'll do is peel off the two-sided tape. I'm going to put it on the back side of the business card holder here, just like this. And then we'll cut that off. And actually, I'm going to stick this right here, and I'll show you how to attach that and put your business cards in it. Well, hopefully, I've given you guys some ideas by attaching a business card holder here. Now, earlier I'd said take this down and drop it off at your local paint manufacturer. What I mean by that is your local automotive paint supplier. So you can take it there. You can take it to body shops. You can take it to motorcycle shops, wherever, and show them your artwork. Show them that you got your business cards already made up, ready to go. They can see your artwork. They can grab a card, take a look at your website. If you don't have a website, go to MySpace, Facebook. That's a lot of um, free places to showcase your artwork. Now, one of the things I'm going to do in one of the upcoming videos is this doesn't have to just be a painting to hang on a wall. This can be a car show sign. Um, I'm going to show how to adapt a, um, a, a uh, clock in the back of this and make it a functional piece to, you know, to hang in your office if you want. Now, I'm going to do some other car show signs, and um, i got one that's a grill that I'm going to do a car show sign out of. And I also have the guitars that I've, I've done before as trophies for car shows. So, I'll show all these as we go along, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Something I forgot to mention is if you guys don't have the facility to clear coat, these panels like I do here, I have an actual paint booth. Go down to your local body shop, talk to them, say, hey, you know, what are you going to charge me to go ahead and clear coat this? Because who knows? They might say, hey, if this is the type of artwork you do, can you do something on my vehicle? Or maybe they got a customer that might have something there. But please don't clear coat in your guys' garage unless you absolutely have to. You know, I know I started out, I had to do it, but uh, it's not good for your health and not, it's not good for the environment. So, Please try to get to a body shop if you can. Thank you guys.